Bueno, para to start, um, how are you? How are you feeling? <laughs> it was two wonderful days. Uh, I'm really looking forward still for the next. Uh, so tomorrow we're going to have the technical tours. I'm uh, looking so forward. I have met so many nice people so far. So thank you, um, everyone that has come to me like to talk and to introduce. And thank you for inviting me. So a uh, very warm thank um, to the organizing committee. I've been seeing like the hard work that you have put behind this uh, the organization of uh, this conference this conference and it's really high level conference so congratulations to all of you please join me to congratulate them with another place <laughs> so thank you very much really and um, for the program and uh, the logistics everything was very well thought i am caterina marinetti i am working in iwa and my role is a leadership engagement officer and strategic programs officer so what i do is that uh, previously i was engaging more with the young water professional and now i'm more focusing with the digital water program i will explain a bit more during the presentation and uh, let me introduce uh, Eva Martinez, please. Okay. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Eva Martinez. I am responsible for the smart services at the innovation department at Aqualia. Um, we decided to, to make a presentation together. Since we are talking about the IWA digital program, talking about digital projects, uh, but also we are talking about collaboration across entities and across disciplines. We are talking about um, engagement of stakeholders, networking, and so what is better than doing this, working together, no? And so I, I would also like to thank you, the IWA, to inviting me, uh, the Young Water Professionals, to this special Congress. And I think it's, it's special because I think that you, the Young Water Professionals, you are the uh, the drivers of the change. And so I believe that it's important for you to, to learn and connect and, 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 and keep sharing. Um, yeah, and this is, this is my opinion, at least. But I, um, I would like to know more about the IWA and also what you think about being a young warrior professional. Sure, so. thank you for your question. So we're going to try to interact a bit and uh, also maybe ask <laughs> you some questions. And uh, well, before, let me show you a video that uh, makes more clear what's, uh, what uh, AWA is about or EY is about. So we are going to, oh, we didn't change this. Show a video. <laughs> the most valuable resource we have. Critical for human well-being and the sustainability of our planet, water will determine how economic development, human health and environmental sustainability will be achieved. Cities, industry, agriculture and nature all compete for ever more scarce water resources. Managing these competing demands and delivering solutions to secure our water future is an unprecedented challenge. Around the world, water professionals are managing water on a daily basis, providing safe drinking water and sanitation and protecting water resources. The International Water Association is the global network of water professionals working on the most pressing water issues. We bring people together to share knowledge, experience and know-how and find new ways to safeguard and deliver water supplies for the future. We connect scientists, practitioners and communities so that pioneering research can underpin new solutions. We foster technological innovation, support sustainability and drive best practice through international frameworks and standards. Inspiring change to deliver a better water future for all. Well, I just think we are working in the best sector, uh, aren't we? <laughs> it's just uh, amazing. I feel very enthusiastic every time I see 
this video and just well to recap a bit so we are a network right and we bring people together and uh, we reach out to almost 20,000 people to social media or conferences but we have around 7,500 people working actively with us and uh, we have corporate members that are organizations working in the water sector also universities and governing members that are uh, those that represent the EVA, uh, IWA at country level and so as you can see we yeah, uh, we are widespread all over the globe with main uh, focus in uh, Europe and we want to empower the water professionals to become the agents of changes. How do we do that? We do it through several um, means. So you can engage with tough leaders, so there are renowned people in the water sector. You can network and ex ex exchange expertise as we are doing now, like uh, at uh, AWA events and also get uh, the latest advancements in the water sector by reading our publications and taking part to that as well, taking part to professional development programs and also be part of the community that has the same uh, uh, drivers that you have, uh, also the same objectives. I have put this flyer, I'm not going to read through, don't worry, but I've put this flyer uh, in the uh, registration desk, so if you want to have some more information about the community, uh, you, can, uh, you can also read it and download it. But my message is that we are a community that want to learn by having fun, by sharing nice moments that uh, will be like remarkable uh, in our in our development. So you're gonna develop professionally, but also personally. And when you build trust, I think like it was in the keynote uh, um, before uh, in the TED talk. So we need to trust people. We need to build connections, and we need to work together, right? And you can do that only when you build like personal connections. And uh, so, yeah, uh, the professional development program for young water professionals is articulated in three main categories. So the first one, you get engagement and exposures, and also professional development, like you can take part to different uh, um, activities we have in place, like uh, you can facilitate, uh, be a repertoire at events, but also use our online resources, take part to the courses that we have. We have a platform that is called IWA Learn, and so you can uh, take part to webinars, facilitate, moderate them, and also um, engage with more senior professionals in specific topics. And uh, the leadership development program uh, that will build your leadership skills. But, <laughs> What does it mean to me, a young water prof uh, to be a young water professional? So I, I don't think uh, it's uh, working, but I can just uh, go. So <laughs> you want to empower yourself, right? What does it mean? Let's just take an example. Imagine you are a Pokemon. I'm going <laughs> to choose my favorite one uh, that is uh, Charmander. And you want to evolve. What does it mean to evolve? Well, you want to become stronger. You want to uh, be richer in terms of knowledge, but also on capacities and abilities. So not only on the content side, on your work, but also dealing with people every day in your workplace. So according to a very reliable source, which is uh, bulbapedia.net, <laughs> evolution is uh, mostly independent from aging process. So it doesn't depend on your age necessarily, but it is triggered by external factors, such as gaining experience in battle or being exposed to certain <coughs> items. Now let's forget the battles because we <laughs> don't want to have a Pokemon battle, but uh, you want to gain experience and uh, share experience as well and being exposed. How? So you can level up by building your network, working with your peers, exposing yourself uh, at events how you're doing today, like being on the stage and presenting your work, and also sharing and learning, right? And these things you can have like through different means, but also like IWA offers really like the benefits for, for uh, achieving that. And I really say it like honestly, because I've seen so many people growing through the network. And finally you get to the evolution. So you get, you get to be the dragon you wished, and uh, you can keep your fire burning. <laughs> <laughs> and funnily enough, uh, in the actual game, this happens at the level 36, and uh, you actually, after 35 years, so you don't follow anymore in the category of young water professional, but we are not talking about ages, so, so that's uh, fine. 
Uh, okay, just before we go, I want to ask uh, the valuable actually experience because uh, Eva is also like a testimonial of this uh, and we had met uh, uh, the last conference, the International Young Water Professional Conference in Toronto. She was taking part as a keynote speaker, so Eva would like to ask you your opinion on what does it mean to be a young professional, what was your experience with yeah. that? Okay, I, I don't like these pictures very much, but <laughs> that's the first, the first thing. So um, in Toronto, what I, I met, it was like more than 250 people, um, young water professionals, highly motivated, highly skilled, and they all wanted to, to make an impact in the water sector. And uh, talking to them and through their presentations, I, I could see very clearly that we are all facing the same challenges, but the degree or the impact of that challenges vary very greatly across countries or continents. And so in the end, um, what we have to take into consideration um, are the, the local conditions, the socio-economical and the cultural challenges in the place that we are working at. And that was something that was um, talked about through in, the, in all the presentation. I think it was one of the key insights of the conference. That's great, thank you very much. Uh, it was very nice actually to know you there. And uh, well, so you were invited. <laughs> <laughs> you were invited to actually uh, give a keynote about digitalization that is also a very hot topic, uh, as you said before, uh, not only like of today, but of the, in the water sector in general. So uh, can you please explain a bit more what uh, Aqualia is doing like in this digital transition? And okay, okay, so um, I'm going to show you, I, I was talking in Toronto about the, how I see the, the, um, the water services of the future. And I, I'm going to, I'm going to, now that I have the opportunity, I'm going to tell you. The idea is to, that we, we will have a smart water ecosystems where the relationships between um, the relationships and the interconnections between the different elements of the systems become as important as the independent system, independent um, single system. What I see is that as we are running out of fresh water sources, we will have to uh, make new models to use alternative water sources. And this will favor decentralization. Decentralization in water services and decentralization in the decision making. We will recover energy and nutrients in line with the concept of the uh, circular economy. We will involve all the relevant stakeholders to make society embrace the true and understand the true value of water. And everything will be framed with an intelligent digital framework <coughs> that will allow us to operate this more efficiently to increase transparency, to increase security, to increase accountability. So we will end up having a sustainable city that is in harmony with the inhabitants and with the environment. So in Aqualia, what we are doing, we are working in different projects, um, we are trying to go deeper within these concepts, um, proving new technologies at different scale, uh, in rural or urban environmental environments, uh, doing prediction models, decision support systems, and so on. Um, but I know that my boss, Frank Rogaya, was here yesterday, and he was talking a lot, and I'm sure he did a great job talking about projects, so I'm not going to go uh, through all of them. I just, I'm just going to mention one that I find really interesting, that is the Round for Life project. Maybe he mentioned it again, too. Uh, in this one, instead of, of uh, sending the, the wastewater that is diluted to uh, miles away to a large infrastructure, we are collecting the wastewater at source and we are recovering the nutrients in order to, to produce fertilizers. So in this one, the city and the citizens become part of the circular economy, which is which is, well, this is, this is a change in the way that the water sector is operating right now. Um, in order to do this, we need to uh, research in technological treatments, but also we are going to need to control each one of the, of the plants. In this, in this case, what we are proposing is that we are not using a big plant to treat the water of thousands of people, but we are using 
hundreds of um, uh, plants that can be in the neighborhoods, can be in your rooftop, in the basement, in communities. And so we will need a system that is, where we can see the whole water system and it's gonna give us also very valuable insights. And um, we are gonna be able to operate uh, in this decentralized way. And so uh, the only thing in this project that I find really interesting and really important is like, um, we, need, we need the involvement of the citizens and the acceptance of the citizens since the beginning. And so we are making big efforts here towards communication and dissemination so they understand the needs of this, of this way of working and also the, the benefits. And so I didn't want to go very far than that. So, but I also know this is, yeah, this is uh, one of uh, my experiences. But I also know the IWA has a digital program that is gaining momentum. So I would like to know a bit more about that. Thank you very much. I think it's a nice opportunity because I've heard about this topic from many of you and I hope we can uh, like all come together and contribute to development of knowledge. And so we do have a program that is called the IWA Digital Water Program. This program falls under the action agenda that we have. So at the Secretariat we support the coordination of the program. But then it is run by our members, for the members and for the community uh, at wide. And um, what do we want to do with this program? So we are uh, convening uh, the top leaders in the sector uh, to develop the knowledge because we see that there are so many initiatives that are uh, coming up from different places and different organizations, right? But uh, uh, if we don't like create a reference or a hub for this to, hap like, to happen under the same uh, direction, then it can be messy for all the people that are working in this topic. So we want to be a catalyst for innovation, knowledge, and best practice, but also a platform where we can share and, uh, the experience and build the leadership and also to consolidate the lessons to go from the business as, as usual towards the transition into a digital world for utilities. Because eventually we are going to address utilities to improve their resilience, right? And what are the opportunities then to work with us? As I told you, like we have a platform, it's called IW Connect, where you can join the discussion as a first uh, thing, just to see what's going on. But then if you want to be more actively engaged, you can contribute towards white papers, uh, technology outlooks, case studies collection. So let's say that uh, you are developing an innovation, you're working on uh, something, uh, on a technology, you want the community to know about it, you contact me or contact other people that are working in the program, at the secretariat and say, uh, I want to propose a, um, um, a white paper and explain what I'm working on and how it's going to contribute and, and be a benefit for, for utilities. And then uh, through the steering committee, we can develop the, the paper together. And also, you can take part to the events especially at the coming World Water Congress and Exhibition in Copenhagen in Denmark next year. It's going to be um, after summer in October. We are going to have uh, multiple forums and then you can just uh, um, you can contact us before if you want to facilitate and moderate sessions and also if you want to prepare uh, uh, um, a presentation in there. And um, finally we also have webinars so if you want to present like through webinars uh, you can always do that. Uh, and propose it. And uh, just uh, like uh, one remark that is not on the slide, there would be also the Digital Water Summit. is something that we are to launch this week. And uh, it will be in Bilbao next year in April. So I really hope to see you there. And I hope like you can contact us uh, and uh, tell me that you are interested to run your session because we're going to host uh, startups, but also uh, other technology providers uh, and try to connect the utilities, uh, especially in Europe, to find the solution that they are searching for directly there in the conference. I think uh, that's, uh, that's it. Yeah, then we have a testimonial, last video, and then we, uh, we are done. This is, uh, uh, I, I, I thought it was nice to put this video, I recorded this video myself in Nanjing in China <laughs> last, uh, last uh, month. And uh, he is a, a young professional um, that has grown substantially in the, in the network. So he started with taking part to webinars and facilitating sessions, and now he's sitting in the steering committee for the Young Water Professional Program, 
uh, and uh, he's also st sitting in the steering committee for the Digital Water Program. And he's uh, uh, Randolph Webb, and he has a message uh, for you. Yeah, we need to click this. Yeah, should work. Yeah. Thanks to the International Water Association for convening the Digital Water Steering Committee here in China, which is a great hub for digital water. Um, I think, you know, it's exciting to be the young water professional that's on this committee, given, um, you know, we need to, one, leverage the kind of passionately powerful youth that's driving a lot of the, the emphasis on sustainability these days, as well as the new thinking um, and the kind of innovative thoughts that are coming from um, the young water professionals community. So I feel very fortunate um, to be here representing that group um, and hopefully you know, I'm able to bring in a, a few new thoughts. I would just encourage everyone to jump in, kind of, you know, jump right into the International Water Association organization. It can seem maybe complex and bureaucratic at some times, but the more that you speak up, um, the more that you just take on the responsibility and offer up some volunteer uh, hours, uh, the more opportunities that will come at you. I think uh, I've been in the International Water Association for 10 years now. Um, so I don't really feel that much like a young water professional, but I guess I'm still meeting the age criteria, so I still get to have the badge. Um, but yeah, I think you know, the sooner that you can get to know the association and start to build those relationships, the quicker that you'll be able to um, you know, leverage them in your career. Okay, that's it. And last but not least. You? Yeah. So that was his testimonial? Yes. <laughs> and, um, and we are happy now to share ours, um, but I think that is clear right now what we think about this. Yes. So. You go, yeah. yeah, well, I think like a testimonial myself. So, I mean, I work at AWA, but I have the opportunity to work with the members. So that is the best, uh, the best part of the work when uh, it, got, it gets to conferences. And I met Eva last summer. Now we became good friends, I, I think. I hope we can say. And we have worked together in this presentation, which was a lot of fun. And uh, we have seen, uh, I think we have met uh, again like a few weeks ago in Amsterdam for another conference. So you really like a the network and you can see it like uh, today which is uh, very valuable to me is the most uh, uh, the nicest experience yeah, and, uh, yeah nothing to add really just just uh, it's a great opportunity to connect to share to increase knowledge and learn and yeah you will you will increase uh, a lot of your expertise and um, hopefully and um, very likely you will increase also your number of friends for sure and we went to the Niagara Falls uh, on the boat together <laughs> in Canada. It was a nice experience as well. Tomorrow okay. we'll get. Well, thank you very much thank for your attention. <laughs> and enjoy.